Hey there, everybody, and welcome, welcome back to the third part of my Let's Spiral Four Let's Play, and let's get this on. Is there more about? I will complain more about this game. Yay! One thing I don't like about returning from a special area is that all the enemies come back, which is kind of cool. So I mean, if you want to get technical, I guess they treat it as you are uh, you leaving the level completely, but not real. Uh, it's not you're not really leaving. Why, Mr. Jim? I don't think. S yeah, Sparks doesn't do that point to gem thing in this game, so that sucks if you're missing one. Spyro, my kite got stuck up in the tree! Yay. Could you get my kite out of the tree for me, Spyro? I can't reach it because there's nothing here to stand on, just me. Well, too bad, I can't, like, help you until I get a breath that I don't have yet, so. Too bad. Yeah. Oh, I hit my head again. My bad. What's with them dropping like upside down gems? Nope. Look at that. The gems upside down. What the hell? Did this guy do it too? Yeah. What the? All the? Okay. So like every time I kill an enemy, the gems upside down. No, oh, that one's normal. Okay. So it must be just enemies that they drop upside down gems. I don't get it. How the hell did you miss me? I don't know, that one was right side up. No, that one was upside down. Okay, so this is just an inconsistent thing. It's just a, the game does what it does. That's it. <laughs> I don't think there's any skill points in this game either. You know why? It's because this game's not made by Insomniac, and they're the ones who do all that skill point stuff. Sparks, I move. I didn't move for like two seconds. You're already up in my screen. Get the hell away. Five. Five. There, I helped you. Dragon wise beyond your years. May the dragon spirit guide you on your way. <laughs> Yay. And then Fag Bags is here. Oh, money bags. Sorry, I just had to make that comment. <laughs> ah, Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or. Something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Oh, well. I want to say no. <laughs> it's quite a long way down, Spyro. I just wonder how long an elder dragon can sit in a frozen solid ice block. The suspense is terrible. <laughs> wow, what a, he's still like an ass as ever, so yay. Yes. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. <laughs> well, look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. What I really don't understand is you, in this game is money bags. Not really the fact that he. Uh, uh, I like the. I like how the anim. The one thing I do like about him though is the animation where you give him, how you give him the gems and it goes to him. That's cool. Now here's another. Here's one thing though I really don't understand is that money bags. Is, that 200 gems you pay him. That's the only time in the entire game where you will ever have to pay him anything. And people are thinking, what? No, there's got to be another time where you pay him. No. That is the only time in the freaking game you pay him. You, and you never get those 200 gems back, ever. So by the end of this, you'll, your total gems will be uh, 6,800. Did I even get that last gem? Yeah, I don't know. Which, paying money bags is like a key factor in the, um, 
is a key factor in a Spyro game, such as 2 and 3, for instance, you have to pay him. But not in this, not not at all in this, uh, not all in this game. And you pay him once, and you're done. And you don't have to worry about it. So technically speaking, you, you honestly, after you pay him once, you don't have to get any other gems, and you can just focus on getting dragonflies, and that's it. You're done. Okay, you can, you can just, like, skip and, and out on getting all the treasure, and you can just beat the game by just getting dragonflies. Okay, that time those are 25. I don't get this game. I re it, it, it baffles me on so many levels, because there's so many parts where you, you think where they could pay him, but you just don't. And I, I just truly don't understand it whatsoever. It's like, wow, okay. But I thought the... One of the main things about Spyro is to pay him, but nope, he only appears once, and that's his only bit of dialogue in the entire freaking game, so we'll never ever see him again. It's a shame, but whatever. That's one of the things I can't stand, but, you know, at least now we can keep more gems for ourselves, huh? Hey, it's gone! Oh, man, do you have to bring the Pokemon bitch into it? God damn you. What's next, May? Hi. I've been trying to climb this bonsai tree all day. There's something shiny up there, and I just know it's the kite I lost last summer. Can you save my kite, Mr. Spyro? That tree is so hard to climb. Maybe there's another way to reach the kite. Oh, it sure is hot out here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hint, hint. Use uh, freeze breath. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Anyone notice that with that glide or whatever? It, it looked like I was going like descending more. I don't know why. It just looked that way to me. These platforms are a little screwy too. <laughs> well, everything in this game is kind of screwy. Good work, Spyro Sun. Those booby talks don't seem to be much of a challenge for you. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. I mean, your destiny. Now, I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I mean, destiny, Spyro. Uh, why did I even bother to do that cutscene? Get that. Really? Did you notice that Sparks failed to get the gem for a moment? Wow. There's an epic Sparks fail right there. Way to go. You just proved yourself to be more useless, Sparks. I'm loving that. Oh, wow. You went left. You bitch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Really? How did I not hit you? Ugh, I cannot stand catching the dragonflies in this game. Okay, so your bubble breath can break glass. That's nice. That's gay. Whatever. What? What? Where, where'd he go? He went through the wall! He went through the wall! Are you kidding me? How am I gonna get him now? Where'd he go, game? What the hell? It's not even right. Where'd he go? Dude, I don't think he's coming back. Oh, is Adam up there? Oh, no, there he is. What, what the hell? He just went... Okay, that is screwed up. Why can't he go through the wall? That is not even right. Oh, that... What the hell? That is not even right. That is... That is, that is either a glitch or the programmers are just fucking with me. Like, really, you make it so the dragonfly uh, fly can go through the fucking wall. What kind of a sick, twisted joke is that, anyway? I can see... Alright, here's another one of those. Another one of those portals.
another thing in this game too, there's like no like uh the sound effects is a little screwed up in terms of like how close you are to something. <laughs> Like, for example, when you get further away from something, there's no, like, sound animation or sound programming where it's, um, where the, the sound gets decreasing as you walk farther away. No, it just ends when you get too far away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that you could do that in this game. Like, you can't charge the wall directly, but if you go like that, you just bounce off. <laughs> now, don't go through the wall. Good! No, don't you do, don't you. Okay, yeah, if he walks down here, that's explainable. But him going through the wall, that's bull. Hey, it's Cinder. Oh, it's Cinder, the the Cinder, the freaking ghost dragonfly, can go through fucking walls. Just screw off. All right, yeah, I'm not in the mood to do these, this challenge, but I'll do it anyway. So once again, catch you on the other side, because I'm not letting you sit through this entire loading screen. <laughs> All right, here we are. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gates. Will you clear out the tank training arena? Uh, I kind of remember how to control that. I'm going to figure it out on my own. Alright. See, so, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, so moving the deterrence of the L2 and R2. Oh, yeah. Alright, so yeah, moving this uh, up, down, and circle the shoe. Triangles to aim like that. Alright, so yeah, I kind of remember. I'm not sure, but I think if you... No, uh, I think if you... Yeah, I think if you die in, uh... Die in, like, these challenges, you actually die for real. And you lose a life. I'm not entirely sure. One of the socks of the camera in this game. Oh, you... What the hell, really? Yeah, same thing as always. It's four hits and you're dead. Just like everything else. One thing you want to do is to try to take out the tanks. You're far away. Because then, if you. If, that was weird. There's a red explosion, like, right here. Wow. Well, uh, what the hell? Alright, and for some reason, these bullets just. you it It's almost impossible to hit the fucking rabbits. I don't know why, it just is. It's just looking like no matter how hard I try, I can't get it. <laughs> but anyway, oh, there's a fucking guy right there. Guy. Don't go after the rabbit, go after the guy. There you go. That's one thing you definitely want to do in this in this challenge, just take your time. Do not rush into it by any means, because then you'll just find yourself being blasted by tanks. And as you know, there's like no fucking like after hit invincibility in this game. So after you get stunned, you can probably get hit yet again. It's not even not right, but whatever. <laughs> Look at that rock! That rock was just spinning in the air. What the hell? Like this deep, like different animations in this game are ridiculous. And like this makes different exploding sounds and whatever. Oh, never mind. I take that back. That actually was a not a fail. <laughs> and there's an enemy right there. Yeah, there is. I can see him. Alright. No, maybe not. I thought there was. Really? 
really? How is that hitting the wall? It didn't hit the right. Well, on the plus side, you can't hit it either. Alrighty, now we're making some progress. Only nine. Only nine. For, only nine. Okay, really? How did that not hit the target? Okay, there. That went right through the target. Like, what the hell? Like, this game is just proving my point on how freaking, like, messed up it can be. I mean, I know to bring a spiral game for the PS2 is pretty cool. And the graphics are pretty decent. And yeah, I'll even say that. But the fact that the game is chop like so choppy beyond belief, and that the fact that glitches can happen at complete random, just wow. Did they really test this out, or were they trying? Were they trying to freaking rush to this whole project? It really questions. It makes me question the whole thing. Yeah, there's a pretty much a tank behind every one of these rocks. So if you see one, just freaking sh shoot the rock and just shoot again just to be safe. Don't go after the fucking rabbit. So it kills me. Like, if you're trying to aim at a tank and a rabbit's in the way, if the thing will just aim at the rabbit, and you'll just fail hitting the tar the, the freaking dummy completely. I, I think there's an enemy over here. I'm not sure, though. No, there's not. I don't know why. I don't know why they have all these like hidden areas because there's no tanks in them at all. To me, like I'm trying to hit the tank, and now that freaking rabbit's in the way, ruining my entire. Why is there like, okay, that was weird. There was like an, exp like a shooting animation over to the left, and there was like a random explosion for no reason. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, so it's like wherever you hit left. Now, look at that. Now there's a, there's an explosion there too. What the? Oh well, yeah, well, the freaking animation is all screwed up. It's a great concept, but I don't know. I couldn't have done better for a while. <laughs> Still have three hits left, so I'm good for the moment. Oh, now I'm now I have four. That's one I, that's one I do give them. They get a lot of health. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I got them. See, as long as you just keep your distance from the enemies, you're pretty much guaranteed to succeed. That's what I really don't get. Like, back there, there's a rock formation. There's a bunch of, like, formations and stuff where there's, like, hidden co coves and stuff, but there's no purpose. There's no enemies. And even if you try the challenge again, it doesn't change. The guys stay where they are. I don't get it. <laughs> well done, Private. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful enough to survive the tanks. As a reward, I'll let you have the dojo mascot. Yay. If you'd like, I can set up some more dummies for you. Would you like to do some target practice? Nope. That's ah, too bad. But I'll have this tank ready for you when you change your mind. Alright, well that's the end of this part. I'm gonna quit it now. Yeah, once there's only, I think there's only like I think there's only one dragonfly per thing. Or gate, or like challenge gate. Alright, so I'll catch you in the next part. See you there.